Okay, so let's get into sending funds from Speed Wallet. Now I've got both phones up here. This is the initial one that we set up just as a test. And this is the one we've been using because you can see the balance here. So let's say that I wanted to, or I wanted to send to a new user or to somebody that has a lightning invoice. Again, different ways to do it. So let's go and hit receive on the test wallet and we'll create an invoice for this one for 100 sats. And so we've got a QR code now that we can scan. So on my wallet that I wanna send from, I can hit send. That'll open up my camera, a quick scan, and it detects 100 sats. And I send and off it shall go. There we go. And on both. So there we go. Uh, sent and received between the wallets. Now I wanna show the act of pasting in an invoice. So I'm gonna create an invoice here, um, let's say for 99 sats. Okay, so somebody has created an invoice and they want me to send them money, but I'm not with them. So they're instead going to hit copy down below. They're gonna send this string of text off to me so that I can paste it into my wallet. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just sending it to myself via a messenger app and I will copy that information from my messenger app on the other phone. Okay, so I've now copied it into my clipboard. When I tap, it will automatically detect there's something in my clipboard. So I can go ahead and I can just hit proceed here. Alternatively, I could go to the send screen and then I could paste it in after the fact, but I like that it, it pulls up the, the clipboard data and knows right away that I wanna send. So I'm just gonna hit proceed. If I didn't wanna be sending from the wallet for this, I would just hit discard, but I'll hit proceed. It shows me the invoice for 99 sats and send and off it goes. Perfect, okay. So really simple to paste in an invoice. And then finally, uh, again, sending, I can go hit send, and then I have the option, as I said, to paste in or type in information, and that is at the bottom of the send screen. So you can see, um, if I wanted to paste in an invoice, there's a paste option there. Uh, conveniently, actually, if I had a QR code, I could actually upload the QR code if I had saved it as an image on my computer or on my phone. And then finally, as I said, down below, I have the opportunity to type. So let's type in the, uh, let's type in the address for this wallet here. So that was Ben Perrin 117, not at Gmail, but at, at speed.app. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. I'll type in an amount, let's say 45 sets, and I will just now hit send and off it goes. And then a little bit more silently on the other phone there, but nonetheless, we see 45 sats going in and our most recent transaction here shows us 45 sats going out, going to the history, we can see all the transactions we've been doing. So we have been able to send multiple ways, but there is one other way. And I'm not going to actually send this way because again, as we've seen, uh, uh, regular Bitcoin transactions have slightly higher fees and they're a little bit slower, but we can still see how to do it um, without having me having to uh, get hit with. And this is, by the way, it's not a speed wallet fee. It is a network fee um, that is inherent to the Bitcoin network. So on the demo wallet, I'm just going to hit receive and I'm going to go to Bitcoin. And then on my actual wallet, I'm going to hit send. Now, I don't need to do anything special when I'm sending uh, in terms of switching between Lightning and Bitcoin. When you're receiving, you need to designate. But when you're sending, this wallet will just figure it out based on the information you give it. So I'm just going to scan this QR code. And it says, oh, okay, so you want to send via on-chain. How much would you like to send? Now let's designate a dollar amount here. So let's say I wanted to send a hundred dollars. Okay. And then it lets me know down below all of the details of this transaction. Okay. So you're sending this amount 
The speed fee is zero. There's no fee from speed. The network fee, however, is just under a dollar. It's around 81 cents. And what I'll say is the Bitcoin network is very dependent on how busy is it and how much data does your transaction require. It has nothing to do with the amount that you're sending. So don't get it confused. It's not like a percentage fee. No, it's, it's based on the amount of data and how many other people are currently transacting. And that can impact your fees. So certain types of transactions on chain may not be economically viable. It may not make sense, especially if it's super busy at that moment. That's why it's best to rely on Lightning instead. But you can still do that. You just have to be cognizant of the fee when you're here. And then you would just hit send and off it would go. I'm not going to do that right now because I have no need to send out $100. But I just wanted to show... And you can also see how it would make sense for me to send like a, a dollar this way, right? It, most of it would be eaten up by fees. So just so you're aware, you can send on-chain transactions. As we saw, we could also receive. Uh, and just be cautious when you do so that you're not spending tiny amounts this way. It's best to be sending, I'd say, at least a few hundred dollars this way to keep it economically viable. Otherwise, defer to Lightning. That's your best. Mm -hmm.